Hello everyone, I designed this toy chest here and I printed it on my new 3D filament printer and it came out really good. So um, I need a little pin here for the hinges and I'm just using a piece of a piano wire uh, but you could uh, use something else just uh, make sure it's strong enough and thin enough to be able to go into the holes. So I'm cutting four of these because I need one for, well, I need two for each of these uh, toy chests. Then I am going to line up the holes from the toy chest with the lid and pop in these small pins into the holes just like this. I place a tiny pin in each of these holes and then I am using a tiny bit of super glue on the outside hole to keep it in place. Oh, okay, I wanted to make the top of this white one in a bluish color. So I am taping off the bottom part of this toy chest uh, and I'm do doing that all the way around. Then I find my paint and I am using these uh, small citadel paints. I like them really much. And I'm just going to paint it all blue here on the top. Uh, and I'm painting the outside of the lid as well, not the inside just the outside. So I'm just taking my time and painting it um, fairly nice actually. I wanted this to look brand new at this point um, but that's gonna change in a little. I had a few bumps in my paint and I wanted to get rid of, rid of them so I sanded it a bit and out came this old looking um, chest piece that it was worn and I actually liked that really much. So oh well let's make this an old toy chest. Well at least I'm gonna try to. So this ended up being some kind of experiment as I never ever have aged anything really much. That is just tiny bits here and there before so I really don't know what I'm doing here. So bear over with me. Um, I wanted a silver ribbon here around the top and the bottom. And I'm still battling if I'm going to make this to look like a new or a old toy chest because the top looks like an old one and the bottom looks like a new one. So I was doing this fairly slowly just to be able to think about what to do. I tried writing toys on the top here to make it look more new with old thingy but that did not help me much either. So I really thought okay I will have to do something with this so let me jump out in some kind of aging on this one and just hope and pray it will end out somehow good. So, okay, here we go. I took this brown colored uh, paint that I had and I uh, put a little water in there to make a water solution thingy something. So I'm just putting it on there and wiping it off and this turns 
into some kind of rusty brown thingy color and at this point I'm scared because this really don't look good um, and I'm continuing because I have no way back so I actually did, did the inside of the chest as well with the brownish and here I'm just putting a little black here and there on the chest to uh, remove some of the brownish look and make it look a little more like dirt and grime um, I'm still not really that happy with the result here oh, what to do I'm trying to remember both the bottom and the inside of this little chest so it looks more cohesive then I found this light brown uh, I think actually it's a skull colored uh, paint and I'm just dry brushing the edges and well where I think I want a little lighter color here and there and I'm just putting that on all around the box and drying it off even though that it is dry brushing I'm kind of trying to wipe it off again I'm giving it a bit more of the skull color here just to make sure I like it but I'm not really that satisfied with it but I see that it is not going better with each color so I'm deciding to stop it right here and leave it like that it's kind of cool um, not like I wanted it to but I think it turned out kind of cool just remembering the side here so yeah I'm not a hundred percent happy about the result of that one but let's leave that for now and go to the blue chest where I'm just going to make a very nice flowery patterns with some white and some skull colored flowers and of course a lot of leaves on there this pattern is actually very easy to do just watch me um, I'm making six um, petals for the flowers and I'm just placing them here and there Here comes the flowers with the skull colored um, paint. I'm going to do this because I wanted some different whitish colored uh, flowers on there, just not yellow or red. So I'm using the skull color here, but you can use any color you like. Then I'm using a lighter green for making some leaves and they're actually pretty easy to do. So I'm making some big ones and some smaller ones here all over the place. And I'm taking a finer brush and I'm just making some small vines between the flowers here. Um, just a little so it looks more cohesive. Then I go back in with the bigger brush and I make a darker green spot in all the big leaves. And I'm making some smaller leaves from the vines. And the last step is a dotting tool. It's a very fine dotting tool and some yellow paint making the uh, inside of the flower having a little more depth with this little yellow dot in there and that's all for this. So that was what I was making today. You will find the STL file for this little chest in the info box below. I will leave a link for it right there. Thank you for watching, please remember to give this a like if you liked it and happy crafting.